It was um, looking at changes in um, home oxygen therapy following uh, a change in oxygen saturation monitoring um, following the BOOST trial. Well, it was a very pragmatic study. It was a retrospective cohort study. So we looked at all our patients over the last 10 years that have received uh, home oxygen therapy. So we had approximately about 100 of them over 10 years and we divided them into a pre-boost era, that is 2000 to 2004. And from 2005 to 9, uh, we called it the post-boost era. And we, because in, in 2005, we changed our uh, oxygen saturation targets for, for babies who were more than, who had grown to more than a corrected age of 32 weeks. And uh, following that, um, uh, we, we co compared these two groups, these two cohorts. It shows that um, following, um, in the post-boost era, that is uh, in the last five years, the number of babies who need home oxygen therapy has dropped. The babies are now much more premature than they were before. Um, they, even though they have received surfactant, their mums have almost universally had antenatal steroids, there's still a small cohort of babies who still need home oxygen, but they are much more premature than they were in the previous uh, five years. Um, the other thing we found that the overall incidence, uh, population-based incidence of home oxygen therapy is now 1.1 uh, uh, per thousand live births as compared to 2.1 in the previous year. So we are giving fewer babies home oxygen therapy. Um, we also found out the duration of home oxygen therapy is about uh, 85 days. And, um, and the, the uh, amount of home oxygen they get, is, the median was uh, 55 mils uh, per minute um, with a range of, um, uh, of, of 50 to um, uh, 200 mils. Because it is a pragmatic study, um, it, it helps us uh, talk to parents. So if it looks like a child is probably going home on oxygen, we can give them, uh, the parents, um, a, a rough idea how long the children will need home oxygen uh, therapy at home, what they have to be pre prepared for for about three months. And um, of course we have a set protocol of delivering uh, the home oxygen at home, but it'll help the parents understand um, uh, for how long they'll need it. Um, so we have some data for that, yes. It would be nice to, to have a prospective study because we are now, in this conference, we are talking a lot about changing oxygen saturations. So it would be nice to carry on this work in, in a very pragmatic way rather than have a big study. Um, uh, but to carry on so that uh, and keep tabs on, um, on, on the amount of home oxygen we do give and do analyze the data so that we can um, counsel parents in the future.